Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And what an adventure this will be. This came from a local shop. It was a Craigslist deal. Um, and basically what happened, the owner brought it in and didn't have any money and then disappeared. So I guess we'll call this a mechanics lean all-terrain vehicle. It's a China Wonder, so it's junk. Um, and if one says any more than that about it, it is, they'd be lying. Came from a local shop. Guy was uh, interesting to talk to, just exchanging notes on these things. His story is he, even if it was running, he wouldn't sell it as a running all-terrain vehicle. He says he hates them and he wants nothing to do with them, and he's sorry he ever took it in. He said um, he did get it running, and it was, you know, like, time to buy one of these. And I mean buy one of these, not one that says that it used to be a wrench, right? <laughs> right, this is a Black Hawk wrench. This is another made in U USA, but an old timer. I guess the original shifter went bad and they kind of Mickey Moused this shifter on there. He says there was this clamp situation. Um, I'm not thinking it worked very well. It's a four speed with a hand clutch. I do not know if it has reverse. It does have a neutral light here and it looks like it's got a broken light here so i think that might be reverse i hope it has reverse hand clutch and reverse would be really really cool if you look at the motor it's a lot like the uh, 200s motor or the 200x motor and it, i even have a a 350x motor floating around though that would just be insanity on this thing it'd be a good way to get hurt so I gave him uh, 150. He was after 175. I gave him 150 for it. And what was interesting is um, he wouldn't let me shoot any video, but we we looked around his shop. He's the kind of motorcycle shop that does higher end type work, and this thing was brought in with a couple of nice dirt bikes, um, which are also still there. And he's, he's probably going to have to end up putting them up for sale next. He kind of put this up for sale to take the first bite out of what he's owed. And then um, that'll go up next. Um, his shop uh, bill rate is $175 an hour. So the $150 I gave him was two hours on this. And I got to tell you, he probably had, having worked on these china junkers he probably has all of two hours so um i could not find a brand name i did find the vin number and the vin number indicates that it's a um 2008 from a straight point of view everything it really looks looks pretty decent, right? It's not all banged up. The person who owned it, according to him, was an adult. I did get the key with it. Um, I I think I think it'll it'll be a nice um, toy to play with. He he did say he had it running. I mean, the gas smells good, and there's even some in there. I could probably put a jump pack on it and have it running in a matter, matter of minutes, but without a shifter, what is one gonna do? And if I get it running, I don't wanna clamp vice grips to that and screw that all up. So first thing I'm gonna do is look up the shifter and see if I can't find one. We'll go through more of the details on it. For 150 bucks, Quite honestly, um, the engine is interesting. The tires all seem to hold air. Cosmetically, it's not bad. It does have a complete exhaust system. It uses your typical PZ27 carb. So there's, there's a, a lot of stuff here. The back axle seems um, tight. It's 
I really don't. I think these are the original tires, and they're just they just aren't that many miles on. Them. I have a lot to do um, before we get to this, so it'll probably be a few days before you see the, you know, will it start and all those other kind of videos on it. But um, I, I don't, I don't think there's going to be much to this at all. Quite honestly, I think it died of sitting. It was um, the guy got it to run again, and then he, uh, he's kind of like, yo. You're going to pay me. What are we going to do with this? You know, before I put any more money into it, you know, in his case, more money would be buying that shifter thing. He, and what, he, he wanted nothing to do with it. He didn't want his shop's reputation to be involved with selling this thing. He said, rather than sell it and have it come back over and over and over again, he said he'd just as soon let it go cheap or scrap it out. He wanted nothing, nothing to do with his shop reputation having anything to do with this. So um, let me get a few things done over the next several days, and then we'll we'll do a um, we'll do some will it start, will it run, will it move videos. Um, maybe in that amount of time, it'll give me time to get the uh, the shifter to come in. He said he looked up the shifter and it looks just like this. The problem, the problem with the shifter though, just right, I mean, look at the amount of torque one would put on it. I guess, I guess the way I would build it, I would get your typical shifter and um, just have it come straight up and then put a crossbar on it. and and try to take it easy on it not let anybody I don't know drive it so they don't smash down on it too much and break it okay um so that's gonna be it for this and once again future project um, it'll be interesting for those of you who say yeah just what you need another quad just what you need another China junker just and all that kind of stuff yeah I hear you but you know when you're mentally ill, it's cheaper to spend $150 on another all-terrain vehicle than it is to get therapy. I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.